the gun blast Worldwide, we feel the impact From the cops and the politicians Fight back, they throw another clip in They fire at us, they fire at us They fire at us, target poor and middle classes They fire at us, they fire at us They fire at us, target poor and middle classes Yo, what's up? This is the Doing Much Damage DMD and I would like to welcome y'all to another segment of the Upper Level Studios interviews and I got my man here, Iron Mike, what's going Sire on? Sire Mike, Mike, MC and Control. No doubt, no doubt, you know what I'm saying? We've been trying to get you here, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing a lot of stuff with you, man, from the great room yes. to the... K to the uh, K Cave was a very good show. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? A lot show. of stuff we've been doing, man, you know what I'm saying? So we're doing this interview, so I definitely have to get you in here, you know what I'm saying, to uh, put you down. Yes, it's, 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 it's great. great. It's really great linking up with uh, Upper Level Studios, Leaf Box, DMD, and Company. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt, man. So where are you originally from, man? Originally from Ireland, uh -huh. which is like a center. It's like a linking point to get to like other neighborhoods like Germantown, North Philly, M. San Junior Park, Kensington, whichever direction you travel in from right. Ireland, you know what I'm saying? Right. You link right. up there. That's that's like a you know a general description of where it lies. Yeah, yeah, yeah the right, city. Right, right, you know, it's yeah, an Ireland yeah. high school and all that, you know what I'm saying? The boulevard which goes Franklin Mill to run through there. Yeah, yeah. So you grew up in all the hot spots, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I guess, I guess. I'm I mean I'm familiar with them to you know, what extent yeah. of like what I get out of them. Like everything yeah. I've done, like has always tried to have been driven like on a on a hip hop level. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, like for music or for, you know, my pursuit. That's what's um, you know that's what's fundamental yeah. about like, you know, going to the different environments. Right, right. Get inspiration. Right. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So how long you been rapping, man? How long you been in the hip hop game? I've been rapping for approximately ten years. Okay. okay. Starting off originally with freestyles in middle school, lunch tables, you know, beatboxing and everything, freestyles, right. freestyle battles. You know what I'm saying everything organized, like you know, within ciphering and within rhyming. Right. That's what I progress to. You know, then comes a period of uh, you know, creating your song structure, your yeah. craft. Like that's the next level. You know, yeah. I went right. to, and now it's like really, you know, being out here on the scene. Yeah. You know, all my obtained knowledge, all yeah. of my obtained knowledge that I've gained from, you know, starting from those roots. I yeah. just explain. Yeah, that's what's up, man. And that's how you do it, man. You know what I'm saying? You elevate your game every throughout the years, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So who influenced you to uh, start rapping in the first place? Anybody who has had creative elements fundamentally in hip hop. Yeah. Ranges from KRS One mm -hmm. to Rock Kim right. to Africa Bambada to mm -hmm. Outcast to Nas. To Q Tip, yeah. you know, BDP, no doubt. you know, everything that's chronicled, that's like changed, mm -hmm. and everything like that. Anybody that, like, you know what I mean? They can't take, the yeah, take, yes, taking a change yeah. within their style of themselves. Yeah, right. that's really what I, what I you like. You know, that's, what, that's, what, that's one of the things that I really liked about Slick Rick. You know what I'm saying? Because Slick Rick came with a style that, 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 that nobody. To match. Yes, the, con the concept, the, 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 the storytelling principle. It to this day. Yeah, you know the storytelling principle of yeah, how like he was able to weave content yeah. in story form. You know, you know what you recognize when you listen yeah, to it, yeah. and everything like you know what I mean remains different right. with the stories. Yeah, anything like right. that. So, high. so you as an artist, what do you prefer, old school hip hop or? The new hip hop that we have today. Which one you prefer? Definitely you know? old. Definitely oh, old. There was more opportunities for you know just local people to thrive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Get within messages of having your voice heard uh -huh. on a bigger level of exposure. Like you know what I mean? Like now, today, everything feels like it has a corporatized. Like mm -hmm. scheme to it, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean. It's yeah. In order to sell, like right. you know what I mean, and it's just like yeah. the morality in the music drops. It becomes yeah. less about self-expression and more about like exploitation and mm -hmm. everything like that. And that's like you know what I mean, where you have some binding like conflicts yeah, and right. everything like that. And, and, like, and, and, real, and, and, real music exists. 
everywhere. Right. And that was something that really was a predicated message, you know what I mean, in the old school. As and they usually were reaching around the world, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you had Public Enemy doing Fight the Power, you know yeah. what I'm saying, and all that type of stuff. And it was reaching all around the world of people, man. Mass, the mass is nationally yeah. recognized right. for the extent of the message it is today. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the message in a lot of new music yeah. is severely it's really diluted. Really it's <laughs> diluted. Yes, yes, man. It's really, it's really, really have a message. It's just really rock right. to the beat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, basically, man. They try, they, try, they, they, they try to come off like that's the fail safe. Like, that's the key mechanism in getting there yeah right. the, i don't know like selling out selling out principles yeah right don't focus on lyric yeah exactly have your beat here yeah exactly all, all you need is a good beat and that's it so you just, just say find, 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 find something in a beat warehouse and... <laughs> yeah. so i mean speaking of speaking of uh crowds and, and fans and things like that man what would you prefer would you prefer as an artist a stage with a crowd full of people screaming your name or sex? I'm going to take the first topic of setting the crowd on stage into an effect. Yes, that love is unconditional. Yeah. That love leads to more. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. That love, in turn, when people love something, they pay attention to it, they're genuine with it, they become consumers. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And that's like outpouring and expressions of love. You know what I'm yeah. Sex is an unknown high, <laughs> which leads, you know, here it leads there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. the temptation of like flesh, is like really like where it's on. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like within that, uh, the feeling can be very empty. But love in different forms. In your stage, it always cry. always comes at you one way. Yeah. Yeah. And you know where it leads. No doubt. Speaking of, you know, being on stage with the crowd and everything, I know you got a tight 16 you can kick for you real quick. Man. Tight 16. I know yes, you got a tight yes, 16. Yes, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Tight 16s. Timberwolves like they played with them throwbacks like greens That was early KG But I'm more in my draft day even though I'm futuristically aging Back here from the matrix, coded, no programming Right now I guess they get mad because they see me Instagramming Instantly with a shine for the Grammys But right now I'm playing with the upper level family Leaf Bucks and Handy, DMD, he flow futuristic gold from another planet Matter of fact, we more philosophical The way we break a rock in two With the elemental verbos coming from our temple Temple on the owls Told him it, that been the madness When you see your man cracking on the prowl When I'm bringing out all the sorts of sounds In the South Philly town Part of that, what I meant to say I spit it with an artifact yeah, I had to clear a class, but right now it's something of wine that is going real slow with a real of flush. Real of flush right there, we blessed off something past death. So you know I'm journeying into the depths of this hip hop. Tell me where it's left. Hit be my booth, that message I confess. <laughs> Yeah, my man Iron Mike, you know what I'm saying, freestyle from the dome, you know what I'm saying, straight at Upper Level Studios, you know what I'm saying, you know how we get down, you know what I'm saying. So, tell the people something about yourself that maybe I had asked you, that you was, might want the people to know how they can find you and hook up with you and all those type of things, or what's going on. You what's the can reach with me, Mike? the world, true believers, Philadelphia and beyond, you can reach me at any of the four following websites, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, at IronMike215. That's Iron, M-I-C, 215. You know what I'm saying? The four that I just named. You can find me at all of them. Same name, IronMike215. Yeah, and that's what's up, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I want to thank y'all for coming out and checking out another segment of the Upper Level Studios Hip Hop Interviews, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna be back at y'all with some more fly shit, you know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it. And check out the Upper Level Studios Hip Hop Showcase that's coming up part three. That's right, I said part three, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna have that shit going on for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Peace and love and we out of here, y'all.